hello guys welcome to this new video today we are going to solve this problem where we are asked to create this iterator method so iterator is basically an object returned by this helper function so we have to create this helper function this helper function will take an array as an input and it will return an object that object will have two method next and done so whenever we will invoke next it will return the next element from the array and when we invoke done we will get a boolean value that determines if we have completed the iteration or not basically have we reached to the end of the array or not so we have to implement this helper function now let's break down the problem and let's start implementing this helper function so if you see our helper function will have two methods which is next and done and because these are methods so we have to access them using the period operator we will return an object from the helper function also as the next function will be invoked we get the element from the array so to track at which position or at which index we are in the array we will use a variable and we will form a closure with the help of that variable and we will use that variable to return the elements from the iterator and also use that variable to track if we have done returning all the elements or have we reached to the last of the array or not so let's create the body of the helper function now body will take the array as input and it will return an object now this object will have two methods next so next is a function and then done so done is also a function so whenever you are solving a problem during the interviews right when you read the problem statement read it multiple times try to understand and then break it down in smaller parts and then try to tackle it so we have created the body of the r function what it will be taking what it will be returning now let's move to the logical part where we'll be writing the solution so we require a variable to track the index of the or track the element in the array so at which position we are currently so in the next if you see the problem when we are done returning all the elements and when we invoke the next after that we get null value so here what we'll do is we'll add a check we'll say that if index is less than the length of the elements in the array so if we haven't reached to the end we will return the next value from the array so this is the post increment operator post increment operator basically returns the current value and after returning the value it increments the value so here on the first call it will return zero and we will get the zeroth element of the array then on the second call it will return one and so on and else will return null so we are done with the next function and then here we'll say that just check if index is greater than or equal to the array length or not so if index is greater than or equal to the array length that means we have reached till the end and then we cannot do further or we cannot access um, the array elements any further so this will provide the boolean value so i think that's it that's the simple implementation for this let's run this and see if we are getting the desired output or not so if you see for the first call we are getting one for the second call we are getting two then when we check if we have done iterating or not it's returning false similarly for the fourth call it's giving us the hello the third element from the array and then again when we are testing it it's saying that are we done or not so it's returning true and when we are done and after that if we are in invoking the next we are getting null so that's it 
if you are preparing for your javascript interview i have a complete playlist where i'm solving the questions that has been asked in um, major product based organizations so i'll drop the link to that playlist in the description you can go through it thank you for your time